Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I always watch these on um, Leanne Says, stuff like that, like channels like that. And they seem pretty interesting to me because you've gone through a full bottle, so you know exactly how you like the product and if you would repurchase it or not. Um, so I have a few. I didn't realize how long it took to empty out a product. So I've got a few on today, so if you would like to see my opinions on things and what I went through this month, then please keep watching. My first products of this video that I went through is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, I've actually gone through quite a few bottles of this. I This one's my favorite. There's also a pink one that has flowers on it and a green one, green and white one. And this one smells the best to me, like, I don't know, just, it's kind of that warm musky smell, like vanilla-y smell that I like. Um, I go through so many bottles of these, I wish that they lasted a little bit longer, but for how cheap they are, I can't complain. Like this was seven bucks at my local um, HomeSense, so I just go and literally grab all of them off the shelf. Um, there's another one that I'm almost finished and it's the double XL hair one. So it gives you just that extra texture volume if you want like bigger, better hair. So that one's really good too. My next hair product is the Style Sexy by Big Sexy Hair. Um, it is the 400 Degrees Protect. Um, this one was really nice because it didn't have a whole lot of shine to it. Even though it says it has seven shine, it was not that shiny. Um, it had a little bit of hold, so it was really nice for when I wanted to curl my hair with my flat iron. It would just kind of hold the curl exactly where I put it. Um, the smell was okay. It was kind of too perfumey for me, but um, I would probably buy this one again. I just probably am gonna go find something else just to try it out. My next empty of the month is my Philosophy Purity uh, face wash. I don't buy the big one. Um, mostly because I do want to have something that I can travel with all the time and those bottles are pretty big so I just get the little ones I've been through about two of these now and I just love it I especially like to use this one with my Clarisonic because it does bubble so much and it does just keep get deep down there um, it is like the the three-in-one cleanser and like toner or something like that so it takes off your makeup tones and whatever so this one is fantastic if you want to give something a try it's really good for sensitive skin I haven't had any problems with it and my skin reacts very quickly to products that it doesn't like so my next empty is the La Roc Posay Effaclear matte found um, not foundation <laughs> Uh, face lotion. This one I don't use right now because it's too dry out, but this one was perfect for the summertime when my skin was like really oily and just like slick and gross. This one kept it really matte by, but also moisturizing. Um, it's a little pricey. I think it was like $40 for this little bottle, but a little goes a long way. Um, I repurchased another, another bottle, but I won't be using it until summertime, so that's going to stay in my little drawer. The next empty I have is the S Estee Lauder Clear Difference Advanced Blemish Serum. I reviewed this a lot before I bought it, and I had a lot of people like saying that it was super good, they loved it, but I didn't find that it did anything for me. I used it religiously, and it just, I felt like I could not use it, and it wouldn't make a difference. Um, so that was kind of a bummer, so I will not be repurchasing this one. My next product that I have repurchased time and time again is the Glam Glow Skin Perfecting Mask. This one's the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Um, I use this, my boyfriend uses this. Um, it's just, it's awesome. It just pulls out everything. I think this is my third bottle. I bought another one. Best mask ever. I've tried so many other ones and I, I haven't found anything that beats this one yet, so. My next empty is, I believe, my dog kind of chewed it up a little bit. I believe these are the Neutrogena Cleansing Ultra Soft Cloths, but these, I've heard so much people, so many people rave about these, and I have tried so many other ones that are so much better, like this did nothing for taking off my makeup. I felt like I really had to scrub my face with them, but obviously I wasn't gonna waste them, so I used them all. Um, I will definitely not be repurchasing this one. Sorry to all you Neutrogena lovers out there, sorry. And then my next two empties are makeup products. Um, my first one is the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper, and it's so hard when I 
get out of these because I always seem to run out of these when I have no plans of going to the city to go get new ones. I have nothing else that I want to order on Sephora or I just put an order on Sephora. Um, this is my favorite eyeliner and the other day when it ran out of me I was like I only did this eye and I still had this eye left to do so I had to scramble around and find like an eyeliner that kind of matched it that would go with it. So it was kind of a sad day. Uh, this is my favorite, favorite uh, liquid eyeliner ever. I will definitely be repurchasing this one time and time again until someone comes out with something better. Love it. Then the next one, which my dogs also got a hold of, you can see like all my marks, is the Smash Spot. I cannot talk today. Holy. Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream for Eyes and it's SPF 15 and this is supposed to be for concealing dark circles and I like to use this one when I'm wearing my glasses. I use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer when I'm not wearing my glasses because I find that it conceals my dark circles just that much better but when I'm wearing my glasses you know it's kind of doesn't really matter but I still want like some brightening behind my glasses. This one is really awesome. It comes in like kind of a brush like that and you just twist it um, I just put some swipes under here and then just blot them out with um, a beauty blender and I found that this one was really good I have a few other concealers that I need to go through first but I can see myself repurchasing this one because it was a really good one so that's everything so thanks for watching and yeah see you next time guys bye